Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Cam here from the Tech Lecture. So today we're going to be taking a look at installing a web server in Fedora 25 workstation. Um, this machine is running in VirtualBox, as you can see it's booting up right now. Um, so here in just a second we're going to get started and uh, see if we can get a web server installed for you. Alright, let's see here, machine is booting up. It's taking a little bit longer than I had anticipated. Alright, here we are. Login screen, let's go ahead and get logged in here. Um, so this would work for you guys if you guys are using physical hardware um, and you have Fedora 25 installed on it or uh, any CentOS machine for that matter it should work on or RHEL based machine, RHEL, uh, Red Hat, Enterprise Linux or CentOS or Fedora should work on any of those just fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of this GNOME setup. Alright, so as you can see now, we're on the desktop here. So what you're going to want to do is go up here and click on activities. Go over to our search bar and type in terminal and hit enter. Um, we're going to be doing this from the terminal just so you guys know, um, which personally I think is way easier to do anything. Alright, so we got our terminal up here. Um, first thing I'd recommend doing is updating your packages. You can do that with DNF update dash Y. I'm not going to run that because I'm sure these packages are a little, little bit out of date and it's probably going to take a little more time than what I have to do that. So I would recommend you guys do that. You might, you guys might have to run, um, run that with sudo. Why it'd be like that. Um, if you're on Fedora, if you're not on Fedora, and if you're on CentOS or RHEL, um, you would need to use yum update y. All right. So once you run that um, and you get the latest packages, you're going to want to install HTTPD, which is our web server. So this is going to be an Apache web server, um, and then in this case, Apache is the package is HTTPD. So we can run sudo. Uh, it's actually dnf install httpd and we're going to go ahead and give it the dash y. Alright, so go ahead and type in your password. Type your password incorrectly. And here in just a second. Alright, as you can see, it's running through and then uh, checking our repos and it's going to go ahead and grab us the latest httpd package that it has on hand. And it's going to go ahead and get that installed for us. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar with installing packages from within the terminal in uh, Linux, uh, I can create another video for that. Um, but this is how you do it. Um, if you guys want a separate video on that, I can go through you know different operating systems and install some packages for you. Uh, if that's something you would like to see, or if there's something that's interesting you, interest of, of interest to you then uh, I can make another video for that, but uh, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section asking for that, and I can do that for you. Um, if you have any other recommendations for future videos, leave those in the comments as well, or if you have any suggestions or anything like that, go ahead and leave those in there as well. Alright, so this is running through install. It's taking a little bit, a little bit longer than I had anticipated, um, but I'm going to also leave this running in real time. I'm not going to speed this up any or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see exactly how long it's going to take. Um, depending on how out of date your machine is or when the last time you updated your repos is, um, as to how long that DNF update command is going to take, um, as well as how long this install could take as well. So, and this is going to be different based on, you know, machine type and uh, what, you know, how much, how many resources your machine has to play with, different things like that. Um, so bear in mind, this could be fluctuating depending on your specific environment. But uh, in this case, we're running Fedora 25 workstation within VirtualBox. Um, I think I have it at about, I think it has, might have, I think it has four gigs of RAM associated with it actually, which is uh, pretty standard anymore for modern desktop software or computers, I guess, modern desktop hardware. Um, all right, so we have this installed now. So now that this is installed, we can go ahead and start our web server. So system CTL start HTTPD. Uh, we'll also need to give this the sudo command in the front. Go ahead and run that. And then uh, we can run our status command. And as you can see right here, we have the status of active and the web server is running. Um, down here, the, uh, the last little bit of the logs that you can see if anything is like terribly wrong or if this would be, if this would say fail, you know, it would give you some of the latest logs. Um, but if you just installed this and then started it up, it should work just fine. 
So let's go ahead and check and see if this is in fact running. We can open our Firefox just to confirm for you guys. Open a web browser of your choice. In this case, we're going to be using Firefox. Alright, we don't need all these extra tabs. Go ahead and type in localhost. Alright, so we typed in localhost here. Now our web browser is directed at our local web server. And as you can see, we do have a Fedora test page from our Apache web server. So guys, that's the quick and dirty on how to get Apache installed on your machine and a web server up and running. Um, here in later videos, we're going to be going through how to secure Apache, um, how to you know ask for a username and password, you know uh, do some do some other security related things with Apache to help keep you guys a little more secure. But for now, I just wanted to get a video out there so you guys know how to install a web server. Um, if you have any recommendations for future things you want to see as far as web servers are concerned, or any other videos for that matter, go ahead and leave those in the comments section below, and I will try and make a video on those. We'll get back to you as soon as possible with uh, answers to your questions. So, alright guys, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you.